talk you through the setup for this week's lab evaporation and intermolecular forces. Uh, to get started, what you'll need is a styrofoam cup, which will be supplied in the lab. You'll need to check out a lab quest and a temperature probe from the stock room. Uh, your IA will give you five squares of filter paper and one teeny tiny rubber band. There will also be five different liquids in a wooden block for you to work with. So uh, the main reason we're shooting this video is to show you how to set up the temperature probe so that nothing gets broken um, and so you can make it nice and easy on yourself. Uh, your IA will tell you that a draft is your biggest enemy in this lab because we're doing evaporation. So we're going to show you how to protect your experiment from a draft without creating a draft yourself. So um, the main point of the temperature probe setup is that you have to get it at the right height so that you can put the styrofoam cup around as your draft shield. So to get started, you're going to take a square of filter paper and carefully wrap it around the bottom of the temperature probe, nice and snug like that. And then you're going to take the teeny tiny rubber band and very carefully just wrap it around a couple times. It doesn't have to be super tight, it's gonna hold. So now that you have this, uh, this is the part of the probe that you really wanna protect from a draft. So before you get it wet and start your temperature collection, what you need to do is figure out the right place to put it. So your temperature probe uh, should be pretty close to the counter and your clamp should be tight enough to hold it, but loose enough that you can pick it up. So the idea is that we'll be able to pick up the temperature probe, put it into the alcohol solution and let it soak, and then remove the alcohol without spilling it and put the draft shield. So in practice, In practice, what this will look like is you're going to take one of the samples, remember it doesn't matter which one you measure first, as long as you don't measure one butanol. You're going to take one of your samples, lift the probe, put it in there, and wait for the temperature to equilibrate on your lab quest, even though mine's not plugged in. And you want to make sure that the entire filter paper is getting wet. The whole point of this is to saturate the filter paper. So I have my filter paper below the level of the liquid. And I'm just gonna hold it here until the temperature equilibrates. Uh, you should know that if you choose to hold your sample like this, you're probably gonna heat it up and it's never going to equilibrate. So have like tea time, pinkies out, and hold it gently at the top. Once the temperature has equilibrated, you're going to want to act pretty quickly. Um, you are going to push play on your lab quest and start collecting data and once the data has started appearing on your lab quest you're going to quickly but carefully remove the alcohol and put your probe inside the cup. Then seal your alcohol sample and put it on the counter so that somebody else can use it especially if they're waiting on it. So now I have my cup here uh, it's protecting the filter paper to Dr. Weber, my cameraman, would you like to show them what it looks like inside the cup? It only has to be far enough in that the cup is blocking any potential drafts to your filter paper. And you'll just let it sit here for the full 180 seconds of data collection. And then once your data collection has ended, you can lift your probe, carefully move your styrofoam cup, and pull off the filter paper. The filter paper will go into the solid waste, but we would like you to try to reuse your rubber band. I just destroyed my filter paper. But my rubber band is still intact and reusable. So we'd like you to try to keep these in good condition. Also, please try not to destroy your styrofoam cup. It is a scourge on the planet and we don't wanna go through a bunch of them. So we're hoping to reuse these all week. Anyway, have a great lab.